Hey everybody, so coming up we're going to be demoing this microphone. This is the Earthworks Ethos. Now this is not going to be a full review, don't expect that. What this is going to be is a chance just to hear it on another voice, which can be valuable. If you're anything like me, you want to try out every microphone on the planet, and sometimes that means they go back to the store. But also, it's just nice to be able to hear other voices, different sorts of voices in different environments, to see how it reacts, and maybe through that, you can be able to pick out how it might sound on your voice. So just another opportunity to hear it on somebody else. That's what the first part of this video is going to be about. Now, mind you, I'm in my basement right now. Got stuff on the walls, soft things, blankets behind me, all the normal things you might see as you're trying to lightly soundproof a studio to podcast out of. Well, this is a condenser and it's working in this environment. I found that it's okay. It's passable. It's definitely not going to react quite like a dynamic word, but that's also part of the reason why you're using this. It's going to sound more open and perhaps maybe a little bit more natural. When this microphone first came out, I'm sure like everybody else, I was eagerly anticipating a chance to finally use it. But when it first came out, it was $700. Now we had heard of the Earthworks Icon. This one had maybe more of an SM7B type sound where it's going to be able to smooth out some of the harshness, but it's also going to sound much more open than an SM7B would. Did that mean that it was better? You don't know until you actually try it. So I was eager to try this microphone out. I finally got an opportunity to. Now, mind you, this microphone is on sale for $399 right now. So keep that in mind as this video goes on, that it is on sale, and I would say, spoiler alert, it is worth that price. Maybe it's not better in your mind than an SM7B. Maybe it's not better than an RE20. I think it's on par with either of those two microphones, those giants of broadcasting or podcasting in this case. So to me, it comes down to your sound preference. Do you like the way that this sounds? in comparison to those other two microphones. And when this thing exists in the same price point as those other two microphones, yeah, it's getting a little bit interesting. But that aside, I tried this microphone out when it was in the $700 range, and I could not wait for this thing to show up. Finally did, the day arrived, unpack it, hook it up to my Rodecaster Pro, this is the version one, I put my headphones on, and I can tell you instantly, I was blown away with, by the sound that I was hearing live. It's not maybe that it was the best sound, but it was just so different in comparison to every single dynamic or condenser that I had heard before, just listening to it, monitoring it live. Now, going back and listening to it was very good. You could tell the quality was fantastic. And again, it was on par with the SM7B or the RE20. And whether or not I think those microphones are better or worse for my particular voice doesn't really matter for you listening and watching this. The second part of this video, which is why I felt compelled to even make this video, because I, as I said, this is not going to be a full review. There are many people that can do that far better than I, and I'm sure you know where those people are. So what I actually wanted to do was tell a story about Earthworks and the customer service that I experienced upon actually purchasing the Earthworks ethos. So as I said, I had got an opportunity to use it, plugged it in, used it for maybe about 15, 20 minutes, all was going well until it died, completely died. I didn't know what had happened, but it felt like this was the microphone gods telling me, maybe this just isn't the microphone for you. Send it back to the store. Pick something else. But that was more than mildly disappointing because I had been looking forward to using this microphone for so long, and I thought maybe I'd get more than 15, 20 minutes of trial and error to see whether or not I actually liked it. But I did the inevitable. I sent it back to the dealer. I ended up getting a, a refund pretty quickly, so no issues on that end. However... On my social media, because I had purchased an Earthworks Ethos, of course, I'm getting lots of posts about Earthworks microphones and why you should try them out. And finally, once like the third one popped up, I decided, ah, I can't just sit here and, and let this go on anymore. I have to drop in a comment. So I did. I dropped in a comment just explaining, not in a mean way, but just I was disappointed that I wanted to use it, that I'd been looking forward to it, and then my microphone died. I would say no more than an hour later, Someone from Earthworks actually reached out to me, wanted to know what had happened. Now, maybe the big reason for that is they had already previously had some issues with a small portion of their Earthworks Ethos microphones. I can drop the description for what I know down in the link below if you want to read more about it. I'll stay away from some of the particulars. Just know that there was a group of Earthworks microphones that had had some issues. What is important is that they told me if the microphone that I had purchased was actually part of the group that was impacted... They were going to take care of it for me and send me a new Earthworks Ethos, which is fantastic, except for they needed the serial number of the microphone. 
and that was now in transit on its way back to the place that I had purchased it from, one of the dealers on Amazon. Ooh, ooh, yeah, how am I going to get this remedied? Well, luckily for me, the person at Earthworks that I spoke to was kind enough to say, listen, I'll reach out to that dealer and see if I can get that serial number, and if it's part of that impacted group, we'll send you a new Earthworks ethos, free of charge. Wow. That, to me, oh, we're already off to a fantastic start as far as customer service goes. But the real question to me at that point was, was the microphone I had part of that impacted group? Well, it took a couple of weeks to find out. Unfortunately, the seller I had purchased from was a little slow in response to just getting that serial number back to either me or the person at Earthworks that I had been responding to. And a couple of weeks into it, I wasn't sure whether or not we were going to get this remedied. And I'm sitting here not sure if I should purchase another Earthworks microphone, if I should go in a different direction. I kind of wanted a resolution here. Well, eventually, after a few weeks and some very persistent messaging on the part of the Earthworks representative I was dealing with, they finally got the answer. And the microphone was not part of the impacted group. So unfortunately, I'm thinking, all right, I'm not going to get an Earthworks microphone. But they were kind enough to say, listen, we know you've been patient with this, and we would like to present you with an Earthworks Ethos microphone for your trouble. And they presented that to me free of charge, sent it to me, got it the very next day, fantastic, plugged it in, have had no issues. I could not believe the level of customer service that I experienced with Earthworks. Now, why do I share this story? I think it's important because we often hear all of the negatives of any sort of customer experience. Something goes wrong in the drive through something goes wrong when you're purchasing something at a store, you complain about it, you moan about it. And I don't blame you. I do the exact same thing. We're more prone to tell people about the negative experiences as opposed to when things go extremely well. So I thought it was important to just relay this story. If you're thinking about purchasing an Earthworks microphone and you're making a big investment, and we all are, then what's important to know is that you're not going to be on an island if something goes wrong. And in this case, something went wrong and they went above and beyond to fix it. I mean, they could have said, hey, you got your, your money back. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but we're just moving on. And they didn't say that. They took care of me and did it in such a way that the next time I'm thinking about buying another microphone, Earthworks is going to be at the forefront of my mind. And I want to tell that to you because maybe you're in the same boat as me. You're making a big investment on your microphone. You want to be sure that you're going to be taken care of. Earthworks did that for me. So now the question is, do you like the sound? And again, as I said, this is a fantastic microphone. It might not be the sound for you. It might be the perfect sound for you. You don't know until you try it out. But just know that if you do make that leap and you go after an Earthworks microphone, you're not only making an investment in a microphone that looks fantastic on camera, or if you're just using it, it looks great and makes you feel compelled to create content. And I think that gets lost in some of the microphone reviews. Is it most important that it looks great? No, but you want to feel great when you're using it. And this microphone certainly does that. So I would say try it out and know that if something goes wrong, they're going to take care of it for you. And that's important. So thanks for watching this video. This is not my typical video. I don't make many videos on the channel as it is, but I thought it was important to just share that with you, and hopefully that gives you some peace of mind if you're considering a microphone like this. Take care.